Hello guys, I recently installed Havoc OS 3.0 on my Redmi 6 Pro. The special thing about this ROM is that it is based on Android 10 and you can flash it simply on your phone if you have unlocked bootloader and TWRP installed. So if you have heard about the features of Android 10, the features are the same but there are some special features which comes only with the Havoc OS. As you can see this is my Redmi 6 Pro Sakura and uh, this is based on Android 10. This is the easter egg for Android 10. You make a queue with this 1 and 0 digit and then the background lines start moving. Let's see how I do. Well there's also a game behind this easter egg. Well I don't understand what it's all about so I was just happy with this thing. Another feature that attracted me towards this room and especially the Android Q was that it's fluid gestures. I loved the gesture and here's a lot more settings which comes with Havoc OS. You, you can customize almost everything like status bar, quick settings. You can enable network speed just like you do on MIUI. You can also change the battery icon style. You can control the background opacity of QS or quick setting panel, you can set an image there, you can edit the grid of quick setting menu, here's the gestures, there are three types of gestures, the first one is the one you get on Android Q by default, the second one is two button and the third one is like three button traditional navigation bar, but I like the new gesture of Android Q so I'm using that for now. The music artwork when you play a music on the lock screen is back now. You can also set whether to make it blur or not. You also can enable music visualizer on the lock screen. We've got themes with this version of Android. You get the system wide dark theme, you get accent colors, but you also get the ability to change the font and the icon shape was well, it was in Android Pie as well. But this time in Android Q, you get theme support. Just go to styles and wallpaper, then you can choose the way your clock looks. There are six styles and then you can choose the icon shape, icons, icon sh shape and you can edit your themes as well you can choose them, the elements one by one and make your custom theme now you can access google assistant from a swipe from the corner on your screen and this is a very handy feature very comfortable and convenient to use. You can do it both on your home screen and your lock screen. If your phone's bootloader is unlocked and TWRP installed, then you can flash this ROM very easily on your phone. You just have to boot into recovery, then wipe system vendor data Dalvik cache partitions and then install and flash this ROM. You can download the ROM from the link in the description. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Have a good day.